Hey, New Hope, Daryl and Mike here. We're getting ready for the great day of service on October 7th. Uh, as we've talked about this, one thing we realize is that there are a lot of people who aren't involved necessarily with a connect group right now, uh, but we want you to still be a part of the great day of service. And so what we want to do right now is we want to share with you some of the projects that our groups are going to be doing on October 7th so that you can decide, you can choose to say, that's a project I want to be a part of. So I'm going to let Mike talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the projects that will be going on on October 7th. Mike, why don't you share with that with us. Uh, absolutely. Um, we're going to start off with our 20, 30 year olds co coached by Amy Carrington. And what they're going to do, they're going to, to write and, and deliver some personalized notes. Um, they're going to take them out to folks in the community. Uh, another thing that they're working on is to be able to go to a county market and bag groceries. Uh, another connect group the is a combined uh, Smiths um, and the family builders. And uh, that, those coaches are Don and Mary Smith, Mark and Susan Smith, uh, my wife and I, uh, Robin. And what we're going to be doing is going to the Boys and Girls Club to, to mulch. We're going to pull weeds from a playground. Uh, we've got a couple folks going to uh, Bickford to do crafts. And then uh, also some cleanup at Southmont High School. The Chicks class, coached by Teresa Largent, We'll be delivering lunches to the various connect groups or to the various groups that's going to be out in the community. Um, they're also going to help uh, Mounting Mission. Um, then we have the Cornerstone, coached by Jack Foose, and Sandy Hubbard will be um, pretty much handling all the projects with, with this one. They're going to help out with the Boys and Girls Club in the Southmont cleanup. They're going to write encouraging letters to the men and the women in the uh, addiction recovery programs that we have in the county. Uh, Young at Heart, coached by Bill Carrington. Now, these guys are gonna be packing lunches for the various groups in the community. And um, Molly Day, the coach of the Revelation class, um, they're gonna do, um, they're going to Waterford Apartments. Uh, the rec room has a piano, they're gonna sing some songs. They're gonna take orders um, and bring it back to Waterford to share with, with the folks out there. Um, the Sunday Night Connect group, coached by Daryl Portwood, they're going to be cooking hot dogs for um, the Wabash, but anybody's welcome. So they'll, they'll be doing that, setting up at Burkhart Funeral Home. They're also going to do random acts of kindness throughout the, the town. Salt and Light, coached by Chad and Lisa Tyler, are going to help with uh, needs at Wellbrook. They have several things going on there. Saved by Grace um, in McCormick's Connect Group. They're going to be helping paint and clean at Mountie Mission. Then we got D-Day Connect Group. That's Darren Day's group. Um, they're going to be doing uh, cleanup behind the Boys and Girls Club weeding. Uh, Miami Trail Project, which they're going to be preparing light posts for cleaning. And then the Lake Holiday Clubhouse Project's going on for, for that uh, community as well. Man, it sounds like a lot of projects going on, a lot of opportunities for, for people to get involved. Even, like I said before, even if you're not in a connect group, uh, there are about 15 different projects that are going to be going on mm -hmm. on October 7th. We want you to pick one yeah. and get involved in it. So uh, you've seen these options in this video. Uh, pick one. Sign up and get involved because this is going to be a great opportunity for us to get outside the walls of our church building and serve our community. Uh, thanks uh, for listening. and. Um, and uh, we can't wait to work with you and to serve with you uh, on the great day of service.